basic shapes there are a number of shapes all around us but the four basic shapes are triangle square rectangle and circle this is a square it has four sides and four corners let us now list out the things around us that are square in shape a clock a photo frame a window let us now make a square through paper folding step 1 take a paper and fold it as shown step 2 cut the shaded portion step 3 now unfold the paper we get a square the dotted line is a diagonal obtained by joining the respective opposite corners there are two diagonals in a square to compare the sides of the square fold the paper as shown all sides of a square are equal measure the diagonals with a thread the diagonals are also equal rectangle this is a rectangle it has four sides and four corners to measure the sides of the rectangle fold its opposite sides what do you observe the sides coincide so opposite sides are equal did for the square make the diagonals in the rectangle and measure the diagonals using a thread in a rectangle also diagonals are equal now let us list out the things around us which are rectangular in shape a book a pencil box a tv remote a laptop triangle this is a triangle let us make a triangle through paper folding take a paper and cut it along its diagonal we get two triangles a triangle has three sides it also has three corners now let us list out things around us which are triangular in shape samosa cone ice cream circle this is a circle a circle is a closed curve it has no corners let us learn to draw a circle using pencil and thread tie one end of the thread to the pencil as shown press the other end of the thread on the paper and draw the curved line with the pencil we get a circle this is the center of the circle it has no corners 
Now let us list out the things around us which are circular in shape. Disc Plate Clock Bangle Write the number of corners and sides of the shapes in the boxes. This is a square. It has four corners and four sides. This is a rectangle. It has four corners and four sides. This is a circle. It has no corners and no sides. This is a triangle. It has three corners and three sides. Fold a square paper at the corners as shown and write the number of corners and sides obtained. In this figure, there are five corners and five sides. In this figure, there are six corners and six sides. In this figure, there are seven corners and seven sides. In this figure, there are eight corners and eight sides. Tangram the tangram is an ancient Chinese puzzle. From these pieces of the tangrams, we can make many figures of animals, people and other things. Let us prepare some tangrams with these five pieces. Let us do this figure. One. 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us do the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4. In this figure also, we need only 4 tangrams. 1, 2, 3, 4. This figure needs 5 tangrams. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let us prepare a figure with 7 tangrams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let us use these pieces in some figures. In this figure, use all the 5 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pull a piece of thread tightly between your hands as shown. It gives you a straight line. Now bring the two hands closer. It gives you a curved line. Curved lines and straight lines can be drawn with the help of dots. Look at these designs. We call them column. Tessellation A tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again 
covering a plane without any gaps or overlaps triangles squares hexagons are the regular polygons tessellate in the plane here are examples of a tessellation of triangles a tessellation of squares a tessellation of hexagons now observe the following pictures pentagons five equal sides heptagons seven equal sides although pentagons and heptagons are regular polygons they do not tessellate solid shapes solid shapes have three characteristics they are the length breadth and height these are also called 3d objects let us see some of the solid shapes what is this this is a cube and this is a cuboid this is a cone this is a cylinder and this is a sphere let us match these objects with their respective shapes the model of the earth has the shape of a sphere this wooden log is cylindrical in shape this birthday cap has the shape of a cone this box has the shape of a cube this book has the shape of a cuboid map mapping means locating the place with the help of landmarks look at this picture now let us discuss the spatial relationship such as nearer in front of between behind far away above below adjacent bottom top etc what is adjacent to the school the hotel or the bank the hotel is adjacent to the school what is in front of the hospital the park or the fort the park is in front of the hospital which is far away from the post office the stadium or the mountain the mountain is far away from the post office stadium is dash the school adjacent or behind stadium is behind the school the park is dash the post office and the bank in between or in front of the park is in between the post office and the bank the court and the hospital are dash to each other behind or adjacent the court and hospital are adjacent to each other 
the flag post is at the dash of the school in front or center look at this picture now let us discuss the spatial relationship among the persons objects and places found in the picture using the words like below above under on in between and so on the father is sitting between the mother and the daughter the clock is above the television the television is on the table